Hello. How's everyone doing today? My name's Light. Um, I don't give a shit what I look like. I'm in healing mode, okay? But, Palo Santo. Okay, you can get it at, like, your, you know, any metaphysical store. Maybe even your local grocery store or a health food store places like that. Sage works as well, but this is what I have. I have a a, a different a sage. I, I think I'm saving for something else. Don't know yet. Anyway, so I was laying in bed and I was just smelling it, saging myself, having memories of things. And I went to my feet and I saged my feet, right? And then I laid back well, I was laid back anyway. Or I laid my leg, legs down and um, my feet started tingling. And then I got the message about foot chakras. Duh. Walking barefoot. Walking barefoot and energy. I want to say I heard somebody else say something about washing your feet or something. And it was just background, you know what I mean? I was just kind of just listening to it. So I didn't really let it soak in. Mine was wandering somewhere else, you know, so. Stuck with menthol. Yep. Which has a minty taste, so I kind of like it better, actually. That's not good. No, it's not bad, but I got cigarettes too, but anyway, I don't want to smoke cigarettes right now. But going back to the energy, and, and lately I've been called, I say called, <clears throat> I've been getting the nudges to um, soak my feet, detox through your feet with um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I ended up with the ionizer. You probably didn't even realize if you're watching me, um, you can have it back. But I have it. You might not even have realized. You have so many other things going on, I'm sure. Rooster. But, um, so it got me down to, well, what about earthing? This is questions I'm asking. Well, what about earthing? Isn't earthing supposed to be all that? Yeah, but energy leaves, is this even the same thing? Does this even go with it all or not? I mean, I don't know. I think it's more, I don't think it's as much about the energy as it is about the detoxing through your feet in reflexology and, and meridians and, and shit like that. And that's why walking barefoot's good because it massages your feet. And another reason why barefoot is really good, and that's why those finger toes, which I've never had a pair and I've always wanted a pair so bad because I like to walk barefoot. But I don't want rubber between me and, and, and the earth. You have to use natural shit like moccasins. Oh, now you know future shit. <laughs> anyway, not how I'm making them, so it's it's all good. Um, detoxing, detoxing, drinking more water, getting outside, getting barefoot, walking barefoot, but washing your feet at night. Taking a shower at night would be really, really good because you can wash off all the energies of the day. Like, you don't have to wash your hair. Like, if you're a woman and, you know... You can't wash your hair all the time, or if you're a guy, I don't want to say woman, man, gender, I don't want, you know. If you don't wash your hair every day, me, is better not to, unless I'm sweating my ass off. I ain't sweating my fucking ass off, you know what I mean? When I go walking, it's a nice little jaunt. But, um, and listen to your body. 
get outside. Have you been feeling good getting out there anyway? If not, then when you're watching this and if it's it applies, you know, it's applicable to you, then uh, take off your shoes, go outside, and walk barefoot. Earth. Earth it up. Um, and vibrate. You know, feel good. Um, something else came to me. Uh, something else came to me. Yeah, of course it did. <laughs> Duh. Oh, shit to me about balancing, you know, the, the usual balance your shit out. I am, man. I'm balancing it out right now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a little tidbit on how I am. Uh, write in my journal. Here we go. Let's change our perception for a minute. Let's flip. See on the flip? Let's flip from yearning and longing for that special someone, excuse me, and flip it to how wonderful it's going to be when you unite with that person. I know. Da -da 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 -da. So this is for me, okay? Like, I'm high vibration, da -da 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 -da, and then I have to go through my things I have to go through, or life happens, or whatever, 646 when I was saying that. And, um, number sandwich. Um, it all goes back to all of the, where your focus goes, your awareness, I guess, is all coming back, you know? Um, but when I was writing earlier, I was picking up on different energies because I was writing in different style. I like different lingo and shit, and I could hear it differently in my head, you know? So it's like, evidently, this really needs to be... I know it's for me again, but I know somebody else needs to hear it as well because I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't. <laughs> right? I wouldn't be shooting this fucking video right now. It'd just be in my journal. For me. <laughs> but evidently, it's for somebody. Whenever you see it, whenever you get it, whatever. It, 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 and it all ties back to the energy. And it all ties back. It's all, it, everything goes back to just energy and vibration. But it's like to help keep your focus when you start to backslide maybe because you're still in it and you're like expecting it, you know, because you can feel it. You know all the shit's going to happen because you can feel it. You can feel it so, ooh, exciting and, you know, you just, your whole body vibrates, you know. At least that's how I get to, uh, maybe everybody I'm around in this energy and my room's a mess and. have something in my foot. So what? I know I'm not supposed to get up and walk around, but gosh, that's such a bummer. You know, even though I accepted it, I still, it still is a bummer. I don't like pain. <laughs> I know you wouldn't believe that because I've been in physical pain most of my life, almost three quarters of it or more. And I'm only 50 freaking two. But the great news is, is I'm getting better all the time. And so I listen to my body, and when my body gets tired, I fight it, and I don't take naps when I should, and I fight it, and then I get overtired, and then it, 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 it becomes a restless energy in me. That's when I need to get up and go outside. Gotcha. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Or you know what God's saying? <laughs> Spirit? Stagnant energy needs a release. You need to flow. It needs to flow. It needs to flow. And that goes back to how wonderful and more alive I feel since I put Palo Santo on my feet, the bottom of my feet. Like, it's amazingly different, crazingly different, and um, I'm super excited about this. So in my head I started to go, you know, I, 
I know all these things, but I don't like, I use them. And then spirit went right, answered right away, answered right away. Wasn't time yet. And everything is in its pro. It's so weird. And, and I'll, I'll speak on this one day, but right now this is about detoxing your body. Um, listen to your body. Your body will tell you funny story. So I wanted, I bet I, I'm craving rice like no other, but see my, my vibration, my vibrational frequency is different. So I'm picking up on different, um, spirits, entities, whatever in, in the, in the realm, you know, uh, I'm not saying any are good or bad because it's not like that. It's not shown to me that way. It's just a different frequency on, on like your dial of your radio. It's the same. It, that's, it's the same thing. It, that's the frequency. So look, I'm learning about this right now as well. Okay. For me. So bear with me. Um, there's a reason why they, they do what they do, <laughs> you know, so I just, what, the, what kind of laugh is that anyway? Being shown different, um, uh, what is it? Uh, my past lives and stuff. Some more gifts are coming out. Um, the ones that have been, I just heard hidden. know if this is a test because I'm like I don't want to go down that way I don't want to explain things from that anymore from the 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 dark part I want to be more of the light part you know dark has been my whole life light's been my whole life but the darkness is where I dwell because that's um what my part of my path is here I'm able to walk in the dark safely. Do what needs to be done. And then I come back out. I was going to say, it wasn't my choice, but yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm still looking at myself, I guess, sometimes from this 3D body or, or I'm picking up on those energies. And, and I'm, I'm not afraid of energies coming at me because... Um, Because if, if it gets in and it can affect me, it shows me right then and there, Houston, we have a problem eh, fix that shit. Where is it? Find the problem. Where's the leak at? Fix that fucking leak. Right? So just, I don't know. I'm, I'm speaking from my own experience and my own path. As I'm doing it right now with you. So, um, and I'm not to share everything right now. I guess <laughs> there's so much this journey of mine. I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> I know not journey, but heart. I could not. This one came to my mind. So fuck it. I'm over it. Getting massages especially if you have a partner, I don't care what kind of friend it is. And it's not a sexual thing. I mean, come on, we're not chill. Well, this is not true. Most of the world is still children, but we love you because you guys are cute and you're fun. You're so much fun. We love you. We are you. We were you. Just another aspect. We're all just different aspects of the whole. That's how they just, that's how it just came to me. We're all different aspects of the one whole, the source, the source of all. The source of all. And sound is the creation of all. Because we speak 
speak things into existence. With our thoughts, the more energy and feeling we give to it, the big, the bigger, the vigor, it's vigorous, right? The bigger the vibration, the more of an impact and a poof, like a sonic, sonic boom is going to happen. This is how they're showing me. That's why those negative things that we hold on to, the past and, and the things that hurt us deeply, that we feel them so deeply, it outweighs anything else because it's so boisterous and profound and there's so much intensity into it. That's why they say, you know, not only speaking, um, not only speaking, what do you call it? Affirmations, but it's a feeling and a knowing. But if you're still not in your present moment, in your I am awareness, oh, that's, that was something new I haven't, I don't recall ever saying before. Channeling, this is what it is. Your I am awareness, in your own awareness, aware of becoming who you are. And it's not reaching the level because I haven't reached it yet. This is just the level I'm on, you know, in, in, in my journey, in my, my spiritual way. I don't know. I don't know if everything's a spiritual, I mean, ascension. I mean, I don't know. Fucking it's insane, crazy shit sometimes. It's just like, what the fuck? I just heard, I just heard. I'm having a cigarette on this one because I just feel like it now. Judge me, don't judge me. It's not my problem. You can't judge me. <laughs> Sorry. Judge not, lest you be judged. So that popped in my head. And I overthought it. I put thought into it. I could have just said it the way it came out and it would have been perfect. So, I don't know. I broke that <clears throat> communication on that one thing. Mm. Then it's not ready yet. See, it, we're integrating spirit and I because it's a totally different level with us now um, so yeah I'm integrating all kinds of shit right and it's great and it's great that's what I always say and it's great <laughs> just keep fucking smiling just keep smiling It's sad. That somebody can be come so obsessed with another person that they lose sight of themselves completely. And I mean this in all kinds of ways. Okay. I mean this in, um, wanting to be like somebody else, like a star or or just somebody they look up to for whatever reason. It's their own reason, right? It doesn't matter why. It's their fucking reason. Or to become so... Or to lose yourself when you... Like I do. Did. Um, in my relationships, I would give my all. And I would totally lose sight of me completely. learning to one, be alone in complete aloneness and not drive you crazy not uh, I'm not in quiet anymore I need to get back to that I like walking I like being out in nature I'm 
water's where I want to be. Oh, God, I love it so much. Whew. And I could feel that so deeply now. And, and I can feel things from a healthier way of feeling things. The allowance of it. There's a lot of work, folks, that I've put into this, you know. And still. Still to this day. Constantly. Always a hope, because, you know, I like a challenge. <laughs> have to be so busy so the old me the not as awakened self that probably was like a week ago yesterday I mean every day I'm, I'm on this it's more and <clears throat> the old me would have been all over this shit I'm being attacked by black man fucking stupid bullshit like that I'm an alchemist so don't worry about that because I know whatever it is that I'm going through and I'm dealing with is a choice and I know what the end outcome is there's a lesson to be learned here and this is my journey so don't have to do what I do please don't I don't advise it it's not your journey it's mine you know do it how you do you what works for you not what anyone else says just what works for you I just tell you what I've done and maybe something will click I mean that's how it's worked for me this is what I'm told by God to do because I accepted this fragment accepted its contract or whatever you want to call it semantics fuck it whatever the lingo is right now that's all it is, is spells spelling saying a bunch of shit and if you say it just right somebody picks up on that frequency because they believe it and you know because you've got them you're in their mind and you're like oh I'm gonna just I like letting them think that this is black magic and we can hurt them and blah 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 and it can because you believe it you're low frequency you're not attuned you're not aware the signs are everywhere you think you're higher so well I don't know I can't say that I can't say that I can't say your higher self because maybe you're meant to fucking it, it, it affect you for a minute for whatever your reason is you know don't think it so much <laughs> people always tell me don't think so much why would you want to say that? I can understand the thinking it. Do you have any possible sides, especially on your own end, and then not even, you know, on your own end? Not even counting things you can't control. My mind works that way. Why would you want to change it? I don't. It suited me well. Some would say. It fucked me. But no, it didn't because I love the person that I am. And I had to go through those things. So it doesn't matter that it's over. It doesn't matter what happened. What did I get out of it? Did I get my lessons? Your past doesn't define you. The only time your past will define you is if you're still living in the present in your past. See what I'm saying? Oh, <clears throat> well, I used to do methamphetamine. Now I only do cocaine. Okay, you know what I mean? Like, that sounds ridiculous, right? But there's people like that. There's people that actually think that cocaine is okay and methamphetamine isn't. Not that it's just a drug. Just as bad. I mean, motherfuckers sell their fucking kids to get high and shit. And maybe that's crack. I don't know. And it's sad. Don't judge people by what they're going through or what they're doing. What's on the inside shows on the outside. When someone looks like shit and they tell you, I feel like I'm dying on the inside. 
and they look like shit on the outside because the inside, the outside portrays the inside. You can manifest anything you want in your life. Feel. But it's just not, I feel like I'm, like I walk around and I talk because I feel, to me, I'm blessed. I'm not going to have a phone, it's going to get shut off. I have Wi-Fi right now. It's when you got to do something better to do it. You know, I've, 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 52 years, I've said, I'm just, all right, God, I got this. You just step aside. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm grown. I'm grown. I still put forth the work every day. My work. Because no one else sees it doesn't matter to me. Because I'm being shown many things. But when it's time to go, it's time to go. What am I afraid of? Where am I blocked? These are questions you have to ask yourself. Myself? This is what I believe right now. I believe I'm being healed because I see myself because I affirm it and I believe it within my every being that my whole my whole entire body is healing it's a process do I help assist it in any way in any way not very much no would it happen a lot faster if I just did what my body wanted it wanted me to do <laughs> really it tells me we need to eat this and the funny story earlier was I had a whole bunch of food and I had this veg I had cherry I mean oh just a bunch of fucking yummy fruits and grapefruit just yummy shit <laughs> and some vegetable fried rice because I have this rice craving that <laughs> is fucking driving me insane the only time I've no, I've had cravings like that. I've done that with bologna and shit, but this rice thing is weird. And, and I just, I, well, I'm, I'm feeling a, an Asian ancestry, my probably my Japanese side, coming through real big. My my um, Egyptian side is real huge. Um, back in the nights, you know, Arthur days, you know. Um, God, they're so not even counting my Native American um, yeah coming through but this fucking rice thing damn it I was so bummed out but you know I had too much stuff and not enough, not enough um, money on there I need money at food stamps because <clears throat> I listen to my body. I have to lay down a lot. If I wanted to heal, and I really wanted to heal because I really did walking, and you know what? I know I'm going to be better. I just do what I do. I'm not going to explain it. It's other people's energy, okay? It's other people's energy, and, and, and I guess they want to go back to this energy imprint thing. I don't know why I want to smoke so much. That's the craziest shit. Coffee and cigarettes? That's got to be my mom. I don't even know if she drank that much coffee, but coffee and cigarettes? And it, could be, it could be God only knows, Grandpa. I mean, it could be any of these people. But it's coffee and cigarettes. It's killing me smalls. Hey, hey, <laughs> if you guys want me to Continue this up and, you know, familia. Where's the ducats? <laughs> and that's another thing. I'm out of balance. I need to get in balance. And they keep giving me all this stuff about giving and receiving. And I'm like, I always give. I give what I can. 
you know, and, I, and I'm starting, you know, to, <clears throat> money's the last, you know, this is my faith, my faith is always, I don't want to, I don't like to say being tested, but this is just called life, and, and how are you going to get through it is all it is, call it a test or whatever, it's your choice, it's your life, it's your game, you make the fucking rules, do you make the rules, I mean, is that even a thing, I mean, is that even true, why would I say that? Spirit, <laughs> why would I say that? Like, sorry, you guys. I just, <clears throat> my foot goes to sleep. Switch it. I'm just doing a little switch around me there. But um, I'm gonna just stop now because I mean this is just absurd. I feel like I'm just rambling and shit. I mean I know I do that a lot, and there's a reason. For everything I say, and I love the sparkles I see. <laughs> I the corners of my eye. It's not even really the corner. It's, I don't know if any of you have ever witnessed twinkles lately. They're like twinkles. It's like twinkle, twinkle, little star. Little stars. One little light, you know. It's pretty cool. I get lost. <laughs> See me? I just got lost. Um, so much comes to me when I go to the, when I'm in that place. I mean, it's just, so, I don't know. Watch your energy and, and it's not beware. It's be aware of your energy. This is what they're telling me. I'm telling, they're telling me I'm telling you. So I'm just passing it along. This is what they do me all the time. They're like, if you would only listen, Linda. I'm like, hey, look. I like to do shit the hard way. Fuck with me. <laughs> no. Those of you that might find yourself in a place similar to where I'm at, um, You know, staying somewhere is not great. Just time to move on, you know. Um, no wheels, uh, no money. You know, shit like that. If you're like me, you, you're not able to work because I have to lay down a lot because of my back. Sitting's the worst. Can't just stand in one spot. For very long, I, I I get I walk. I walk till I can't walk. Then I have to rest for a while, but that's part of my healing process. But that that there you have it. Applied for Social Security. I have an appointment. I had my X-ray. Now I have to have a range of motion appointment. And you know what? My range of motion is freaking phenomenal right now. Way better than it was. Way 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 way. way. I mean I. Uh, I couldn't do shit before. I sit up. I said, Indian style can do any of that shit. I get on my knees. I dance a little bit. You know? I mean, it, it's, it's, when I say get on my knees, get on my knees and sit up. You know, before I could even, had to roll a certain way, keep my, oh God, it was the hardest thing I've ever lived through. And I want to cry every time I think about it because it was so horrendous. Man, I can handle a lot of pain, but oh, fuck. I'm amazed that I can walk. You see what I'm saying? So, fuck anyone who says anything else. I'm going to do shit my way. Nope, I'm going to do shit God's way. My way? My ass would have been under there being a stupid idiot. When I say under there, I mean under my fucking pilot. There's two fucking bolts couple fucking nuts. You know what I mean? <laughs> Pull the fucking rack and pinion. It's a piece of fucking cake. For me. I can walk. That matters a lot to me because I have a lot of work to do and my body's got to be, I got to be healthy. I'm hurt. It'd be nice if you'd 
assist us, assisted along with us. <laughs> All right, I'm working on it. Come on now. <laughs> they know me. They know me so well. That's why they fuck with me the way they do. <clears throat> it's great. It's great. <laughs> Just smile. Anyway, energy, and if you find yourself, like I've kind of been talking about, you know, lowering your vibration or just not focusing on, on my desired outcome, looking at what I see in front of me and, and, and instead of that knowing and the faith and knowing what I'm working towards, what's coming, but not always looking at it from a, it's coming, but having it. And that's the point of being aware and being in the now, being in the present, like you already have it. Like I said, when I walk around, when I'm walk, walking around, sitting here, I, I just, I feel like I'm so blessed, like all the, the visions and things. And sometimes I lose sight of that. And I've been doing that recently. When you get tired, that's why you got to watch your body. When you get tired, that, there's that crack. Let something energy in. Let your fucking mind get a hold of, oh, shit, oh, shit, shit, she's back. She's back. Grab a hold of that real fucking quick and let's pull her back down. It's your own fucking mind. So, since it, everything seems to be about relationships and love and talking about it and thinking about it all the time just keeps it away. But And I'm guilty. So here we go. Let's have it. <laughs> this is what they let me have it. They let me have it. So, instead of, whether you know what the situation is or not, you know, you just start feeling, I don't know, it's just the whole gamut of all of it. It's just like, is it even, I know how I am, what I bring to the table, what I have to offer in a partnership in a relationship in, in a partnership because it's what it really is is a partnership call it relationship call it whatever you want but it's a partnership equals playing their own part in the part that they play together you when you're both vibrationally matched I mean, are you really, are you really at that place? Why do we keep attracting things that are a little lower vibration? Could be for whatever reason. All we have is our part, right? So when you know, when you can honestly say to yourself, I can bring this, this is who, and this is what I am, and this is what I can bring. And, and it's a healthy love because you love yourself now, you're healing. You know, you're getting better every day. You're working on yourself. You know what I mean? You don't slip up. It's just shit that needs to come out. It's not a slip up. It's not your degree. I mean, everything is, everything's a plan. Just keep following the plan. If it feels right, it makes your heart sing. Do that. If you were like me and you feel called to tell this other person, <laughs> Let me just tell you, I, I never would have done this a million years, and, and, and I, 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 I'm, I'm amazed I did, but it's really kind of cool because oh, the vulnerability of it was just it's fucking exhilarating in a sense now that I think about it. The scariness of it is just, it's exhilarating, but I, I, I'm an alchemist. I change things. I change my perception, and that's going back again for the hundredth time to the instead of the longing and yearning for somebody think of what that love what you can see in your mind of that union that divine union partnership where both people are equally matched vibrationally both coming from their healed love divine self to where they're at but you guys are Ever, no one's going to be perfect the same. Come on, let's just not be stupid about it. You know, semantics, just stop. If that's what you're doing, please just go away. 
and just shush. <laughs> okay? It's things like that. We don't want to bring that in. Yes, life is going to happen, and no matter what happens, there's a reason for it. Do your thing and ride your fucking wave. It's just a tunnel wave. Isn't that what everybody wants is the tunnel wave if you're a surfer? Everybody wants that hole in one. Eight ball on the break. Nine ball on the break. How many times and how long have you fucking been in the dark practicing? Practicing, being in the dark, whatever you want to call it, in your shadow, in your whatever. Semantics again. Put it however it works for you in your life. Does it matter? It's just a fucking word. There's a bigger point, and that's the distraction with everything. It's the fucking semantics of everything, the fucking words. Oh, they said God, or they said Allah, or they, you know, shut the fuck up. God, source, whatever. Sorry, okay. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> I need work still. Can you see it? I'm very passionate. You can see that. I don't have to tell you that. Anyway. Focus on that end result that you want. That outcome that makes your heart sing. And go about your path. What you're supposed to do. And allow the things to become, allow the seeds to sprout, to break the surface. You're not going to pull the seed out and eat the seeds. You want to put the seeds in the ground, let them grow so you can get your harvest, right? Same with the person. It's a plant, it's a weed, it's a whatever. A precious flower. You know what I'm saying? They're fucking dandelions. <laughs> Anything with it. Just teasing. Just teasing. Anyway, let's just focus on ourselves. Palo Santo, Sage, whatever your shit is, take your crystals. Sage, bottom of your feet. I mean, you know, that Palo Santo is insane. We have ear chakras. We have hand chakras. We're all healers. We're energy. We're blocked off. Our meridians are blocked off. And that's another thing about the massage. And there's a whole thing I'm going to do. I've been wanting to do this for so many, for six years now. <clears throat> this is something I've been wanting to do. So I, it's coming up again. Yeah, it's coming up again. Yeah. Whew. Anyway, you guys. I'm going to say it again. Go to my Healers Helping Healers um, Facebook group, uh, if you like, and get in there and, and, and practice your shit and say your shit. It's free speech as long as, as much as free can be on Facebook. Um, let's not get in trouble. Let's not go crazy. Always. I should never have to say this, and I feel like I'm dealing with adults that are in more of their divineness, so I'm not going to even worry about... Mm, some of them coming in there and acting a fucking fool. If they are, let me know. Block them out or do whatever. We'll figure it out. But fuck that shit, you know? <sighs> we're adults. We shouldn't have to talk to each other like we're fucking children. We shouldn't have to have all these rules and all that. I mean, I, that just is fucking dumb. Stand in your integrity. Or don't be in there, please. You know? Put your bullshit. There's plenty of other places to go. These are for people who really are making a difference, who really might have confusion. Share your gifts, people. Share your products. I don't care. It ain't about me. It's about all of us. Get in there and talk. I can feel there's people that want to reach out. I want to make this a safe place. Please. Healers helping healers. That's what it's all about. Ain't it? Raising everyone up. Raising the vibration. Elevating the world. I'm calling you out. Let's do this shit. Sometimes we get weary and we need to talk too because maybe there's shit we're going through that we're not used to yet because we haven't been there yet. Other people are there. Or sometimes you just rather be alone and it'd be nice to go somewhere where you could talk to somebody. We could fucking group chat it. Fuck, I'm open to anything. You guys could do all your own shit. Whatever. Let's all fucking get together. Let's travel around and fucking change the world. Let's sow a seed. 
Let's build communities and build gardens with me. Fuck it. What do you have to lose? What do you have to gain? Everyone has a home. Everyone has food. Everyone's fucking happy. <laughs> Damn it. No. <laughs> I'm fucking teasing. Anyway, you know what I'm fucking... Uh, I get so passionate. I just want to run out there and do it. And God says, no. Your back isn't strong enough yet. No, wait. There's so many things to prepare for. Everybody counted you out. Everybody beat you down. Everybody thought they were winning, my precious child. Thank you. I know your heart. Your heart is pure. I know when I hand you this, this opportunity to sow a seed, teach the children, change the world. No. Build. Begin. A way shower of new earth, the paradigm shift. Teach the children. We cannot rely on outside shit like this, the media, to tell you shit. Talk to the people. Building communities, villages. You get me. So I see you teach the children. It's coming soon. It's a fucking miracle what's coming in all of you. I know. It's beautiful. Your gifts. Some of you may even be feeling it inside you right now as you watch this. Whenever you watch this. Anytime during this. Something's going to spark in you. Something's going to activate. I feel people activating. You know? Like, like, this is, <laughs> I'm, I shit you not, this is exactly how it came in. Like a spell is being broken. Like a cloud's being taken off. Like, the fucking, a cloud, uh, not a cloud, but what, what, what a cloak, or, or, you know? Something. Something just shifted. And there's shifts happening. And you know what? This is coming through. We never know ourselves. Our higher self knows. We might not know it. But there's going to be something we say. We'll never even know what it is. But it's that one little itty bitty thing that just fucking ignites somebody else. And activates them to start whatever it is they need to do. If we're going to speak things that speak life, love, kindness, and compassion. The power is in the tongue. Power is in the mind. The only demon is your own fucking mind. Balance them out. Use what they would call the dark part. <clears throat> A bit like drive, stubbornness. All in how you look at it. It's your perception. My stubbornness, for years, I used it against me. Now it's what gets me through. It's drive. I had a choice to take all my energy and all my energy all my gifts that I have, I possess, and fucking conquer everything. Instead, I conquered myself. What do I mean by that? I defeated. I conquered myself. Not in the way you're thinking, in the other way. I set out 100% to do everything I could to be a shit to me. Part of my journey, it doesn't matter how you want to look at it. There's so... However you want to look at it, it's your life. It's your story. <laughs> I can't tell you yours. You can't tell me mine. Fuck, half the time I feel like I can't even tell me mine. I have it written down. Somebody needs to write or something. I don't want to be a card reader. I have nothing against them. I have a shit ton of cards and I love fucking with them. 
I don't know if my brain can handle that. <laughs> the energies, you know. I'm meant for something else. I'm not meant for that. My mind and my ego. My ego. The part of me that, that edges God out. My faith. Is when I'm looking with these eyes at my surroundings and I'm blocking myself. I'm blocking all my blessings. And another reason why is because whenever I pray to God, I don't pray for myself for money. I never ask and that's out of balance and that's not right. That's not good. I'm getting it. He know it's not a he. Uh, it's not a gender. God knows the creator, the source of all, the source energy. <clears throat> it's going to bless me beyond my means. I'm already blessed beyond my means, beyond what I feel what blessed is to me. But to really bless me is for me to do what our dream is. God in my, in, in my dream. Of building communities and building gardens. Of teaching the children. Of sowing a seed and teaching the children and, and building. Ah, it's wonderful. So I will have all that. Well then why don't I have it now? Because If I had all that money, I still would be where I'm at. So I've got to find the balance in the part of asking because I need to live too. I know it makes no sense to me either because this is how I was told. I believed it. This is how I took it, my perception at the time and that's how I, and I ran with it at that moment and I ran I've, that's been my moment it has been I don't have to worry about money because I just have to do what I'm supposed to do and the money will come so then now why am I to this place of because I really don't believe it oh gosh this is harsh shit that's like ugh fucking killing me right here <laughs> because I really don't have my faith muscle. I know these things are going to happen. And I still don't want to ask. And, and I don't know if, if, if God's wanting me to ask for money or charge for things. I just, there's a part of me, I just, that's, I just, I'm having a hard time with that. And that's what I need to figure out. And somebody's, well, there's a reason why I said it on here. And I'm going to say somebody needs to hear it, obviously. How long have we been on here? Oh, shit. I got to go. This has been forever. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize, you guys. You know what? Peace out. Peace. Love. Mwah. Harmony. And we'll catch you on the flip. Remember what the flip is. Flip your perception. Flip it. Flip it to your outcome. What makes your heart sing? Flip it. Flip it. When you're getting down, flip it. Of course, do the work. Look at it and all that stuff. But <clears throat> if you start feeling yourself going deeper, flip it or go deeper. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... It comes to me... And maybe I'm trying to talk too much into it. And I said it the right the first time. I'll just go like that. Anyway. Peace and hair grease, folks. Peace out, my loves. <laughs>